Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Bound Channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine seven in class again today. How have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to use them as to mark out affected areas within a buffer zone, which um, can be used for um, compensation survey. Right? Let's say you have this road, and then um, these are built up areas that are surrounding the road. So you want to create a buffer zone which perhaps is um, associated by a redesign of the of the road and then the the buffer zone now um, intersects yeah then some built up areas are now found within the buffer zone yeah the buffer zone now intersects what the built up area so you want to extract those um built up areas that are now within the buffer zone and then see how to use it for compensation survey so the first thing now is that we need to create a buffer zone that um, will now reflect the new what the new redesign of this particular road that is in red right good so now to achieve this we come to geoprocessing and then we click on buffer now um, under the buffer window buffer creates um, polygons around the input features to specify what um, distance right good so now this is like an overview so the input will be the the road projected then um, the output um, feature class we are going to change this um, directory so um, let's call it a um, 30 meter buffer and then the distance, the distance around the input feature will be what that will be buffered. Distance can be provided as either value representing a linear distance or a field from the input features that contains the distance to buffer each feature. So um, our case is what it is being provided. So let's use 30 meters in this case. Now remember you can use this drop down to see what other units that um, you can use, right? Good. So we are actually using what meters. So the the method we are using what the planner if the input feature are in projected you know sometimes you can read this guide you know this help will help you understand yeah this help will assist you to understand what each of these um, options mean right good then um for the end type that's the nature of the buffer the polygon that will be displayed the shape of the buffer at the end of line Input feature, right? Good. So, do you want it round or flat? So, let's use them. Um, let's use flat. Now, for the side, do you want the buffer to be on the left or on the right or both left and right? So, I prefer it to be on both left and right. So you can see, um, AGISM has actually provided more options for you to what to modify what your buffer, right? Good. So now, I haven't done most of these um, modifications. We can just click on OK good so the 30 meter buffer is out let's um, zoom that to layer and then let me bring it down like this so now we can see there are definitely some buildings that intersect what the buffer zone we can decide to work on the transparency apply okay that is if it we are still up anyway so since we have brought it down it's still okay like this now the next thing is for us to automatically extract these buildings that are within what the 30 meter buffer zone from what the built up area right good so now we come down to selection and then we use this other tool called what um, select by location now select features from one or more target um, layers based on their location in relation to the feature in the source layer so we are selecting the select method is what the selection method rather is what select from right good so we are just trying to extract directly we are not doing adding to currently selected feature or remove or select from currently selected feature we are just selecting from the built up area then the source layer is what the 30 meter um buffer that's what our buffer zone 
So what do we want to do? Intersect the source of layer fusion. Now the special relationship, the special selection method for what the target layer features. That means we want what the fissures that are in the built up areas that what intersect our 30 meter buffer zone, right? That's what we want to use. Intersect the source um, layer fissure. Having done that, we just click on apply. Okay. Good. Now you can see the affected buildings have been automatically selected and we can decide to just, um, um, extract, extract, um, let's say export here, yeah, export those, um, affected buildings out of what the built up area. So we are going to export selected features only. Then we can define what the directory, um, let's call this, um, affected area right so and then we click on save and then okay do you want to add the exported yes we can decide to turn it off and then we have what our affected area we have what our buffer zone and then we have what the, the road layer right good so basically we have shown you how to um, extract affected areas for compensation purposes right good so now there was a road we had actually buffered 30 meters on both sides and then we saw some buildings that are within the 30 meter buffer zone and then we have extracted what those buildings right good now when you come up to the open attribute table you are going to see what different attributes of the buildings that were affected so perhaps if there are names maybe types you know the names of the buildings, the type, how they are being used and some other stuff. You can decide to create more information yeah, for visualization purposes or even for um, other decision making purposes to know residential buildings, schools, maybe religious centers, you know, all of those that are affected within what the built up area. Perhaps if there's also a field for the, the extent as the area, you can also have those information. You can decide to present them using what any other data presentation softwares or you can even proceed by using or continue by using what um, your actions for the presentation if the need arises so thanks for coming to class we hope we have um, provided solution to this particular gis or engineering or surveying related problem we are going to see you on the next one ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye